So what is it like to have a Scipio 5511? So today I have my Scipio 5511 and I will also have my Guan Yu maxed. So we're going to try to fight this in the field and let's see how this is going to turn out with the battle report results. All right, so um, let's see. Of course, we're going to play this smart. We're only going to be using three marches in here. And um, I guess there's some action right away. Perfect. This is the Guan Yu. This is what you're supposed to be paying attention. And we should see Scipio secondary skill coming right out. Boom. Back out. Of course, we got to play it smart. We cannot, we cannot dive and die. There we go. Got to play everything cool. And um, let's back out in here. Let's take a look at the report. All right. So this is a Guan Yu and Scipio. We hit a 288k troops. Imagine this is a 5511 only, even though I do have a lot more troops. This is T5. This is a maxed out even with, even with a museum buff. And that hit pretty well, in my opinion. 4K. Imagine this is maxed out for both. I think we... I don't know if we did hit the AoE. I don't think so. Because it would have been a lot more damage. Uh, the battle report might be a little bit too short. Oh, we did hit um, skill cast there. All right. For this, for uh, Guan Yu and Scipio... We did hit some AOE on the side as well, which is really great, but not a lot, not too much. But the report was promising. The report is definitely promising for a 5511. It's not too bad at all. I'm not sure what their plan is. We're actually very much outnumbered. I don't know why they don't want to like just dive in and kill us in here. Wow. Let's scout this. Are there Scipio is maxed out or is it is it not? They're going to try to drag us. That's what they're trying to do. We're smarter than that. That's not going to happen. But we did get to see a amazing report for a 5511. So I'm kind of curious if your Scipio is. Yeah, it's maxed out. Scipio and Chok. Wow. All right. They're mobilizing. Um, coming back out here. All right. There we go. Let's hit this. Let's hit this Yang Yu. I don't think I am going to be able to cast skills there. All right, let's hit the Attila next. We're going to look at some of this report for sure. Here's Guan Yu going to cast. I want to see cast of the cast of Scipio. I think it did. All right, Guan Yu. Look, pay attention to my Guan Yu. All right, backed out. Casted skill. I'm going to back out, back out, back out. Back out because it's just too confusing right now. It's very confusing. So congested in that area. We had a victory there. I'm not sure if that was my contribution or not. There is a uh, Guan Yu. All right. So one thing I really noticed as well is that we kind of get hurt a lot quicker as well from this. All right, backing out. Oh, I was he doing some healing. Uh, I, oh, okay, perfect. I'm not using any calves, which is good. I'm backing out there. People are targeting me. They, okay. So let's take a look. Let's see. There is a Scipio there, kind of got by himself. Oh, kind of a little bit of a delay lag right here or something. All right, there we go. Once again, we're attacking. Pay attention on Guan Yu. Hopefully, we cast that skill quicker. It's a little bit too slow, in my opinion. We're targeting. I think we're targeting Neb. I think that's the target. I feel like I will be retreating soon. Um, we got to do a skill cast. All right, way too much. Too much. I think we're kind of overrun in here. Wow. Uh, there's just so much of them. There's just so much of them. That's all I can say. That's a lot of them. And we're really outnumbered. It's like two to one right now. All right. So we got a few reports in here. Let's take a look on the report of Guan Yu and Scipio 5511. So here's one. 
Um, 459. Of course, this is uh, me attacking them. 2,713. Took a little bit of damage from the AoE. Killed that Attila and Takeda. Not bad damage at all. Not bad for a 5511. Pretty budgeted, honestly. So if you are, you know, free to play, of course, you're not going to expect like super crazy report. You're going to expect something reasonable. This is an Amanator um, and um, Artemisia. So where is another Guan Yu? Scipio. Here we go. Another one. 5511. Scipio. Not too bad at all. Another hit here. Wow. These are some of the minor battles. And of course, Ramsey's YSG did 14k severely wounded on that. 10k, of course. Much stronger. And um, where is more Guan Yu and Scipio? Here's another Guan Yu and Scipio. All right. Here we took some damage. I got defeated. And um, of course, we have, you know, did some serious damage as well. Three, you know, 3.7. Some of the reports that I'm seeing... If I was really battling them, it's really good. This is a Guan Yu Scipio as well. And that is not even... That's a 5-1-1-1, right? It hits pretty good. 5-1-1-1-1, right? Wow. I have 5-5. Five, five. So 5-5 five, five gives you infantry units attack 40% and their marching speed by 15%. Um, they also gain 10% increased march speed, march speed outside the enemy territory. So... That's pretty much what I've got in here. Of course, we kind of suffered in here because we got, um, you know, team up on. We got gang done in here. So, um, yeah. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad at all doing a 5511 Scipio. Uh, I think we will eventually. I think we will max it out. Of course, we get more benefit when it's maxed out. Um, when you have your Scipio maxed out. You know, right? You're getting these two benefits, and plus you get the expertise. Definitely make it much stronger. Infantry health increased by 10% when attacking troops. So I'm not getting this. Um, you know, I'm I'm getting this. Sorry, I'm not getting the 20% of this. And grants each attack 10% chance of dealing continuous damage for three seconds for only. I'm getting 250 only instead of 500. So I'm missing out onto that one. And then this one is when troops on the map take skill damage. There is a 50% chance of reducing the skill damage. Um, by it says here ten percent only, and it should be I should be getting thirty percent, so it makes me a little bit more tankier if I have it maxed out. Uh, forming a shield that covers up to three allied units, and this one I'm not really contributing so much because it's only two fifty instead of five hundred. And of course, the biggest thing, the reason why we pair it up with Guan Yu is because we want Scipio and you know with Guan Yu uh, because of the silence. So increased skill damage dealt by ten percent when a target is silenced. Rage grows faster as well 30 percent so i don't have that the purpose of guan yu to pair with um scipio is really for the expertise but since it's not yet expertise we can see that you know it's not fully applicable but with the report that we have seen just right now it's pretty good as 5511 but of course a maxed out commander is going to be even better. So we're definitely going to max out Scipio here with our account. I really like Scipio. I think it's one of my favorite um, up, you know, favorite new infantry commander. I like it. And um, compared to like CJ, compared to Alex, I prefer Scipio. I think many players have already been investing into Scipio. In this KVK alone, I've seen so many Scipio Africanus in the battlefield. But um, 5511 Scipio, not bad. Great for free to play. Uh, you just need to know how to play it. If, of course, in a situation like this today, when we're overrun, of course, it's hard to win battles. But as you've seen, even though we were outnumbered by 2 to 1, we still perform great with the commander. And this is the right way of testing uh, because when you're doing one-on-one -on -one testing, it's not realistic. You're never going to be one-on-one fighting in 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 kvk um, you're going to be going against with so many players just like what we've done and in that sense you check and test to see hey am i you know really hitting hard am i really really you know doing this well um that's pretty much you know 
what you need to really look into when you are testing uh, commanders when you're watching videos like this. So um, hopefully this is helpful to many players who are going to be interested in investing into Scipio. Um, I'm going to try to do as much as I can with like actual testing in the battlefield because that's the right way to do it. And I know I have done testings of 101 before. It's nice. It's a good show. But at the end of the day, the reality is in the battlefield. Anyway, Rockers, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this is very helpful and that you will invest in Scipio just like what I did. I'll see you guys again next time. Drop a like if you like testing in real time.